All right, well, welcome back, everybody. As you can see, at one point this morning, it was overcast, even rained a little and cool. So it lit us a little fire for the morning. Not something we usually do. However, now, as soon as I go to record and all, sun comes out, and it's warming up a little, but still feels excellent. But we're not talking about fires today. We're talking about something else. Well, actually, yeah, I guess we are talking about fires. So several of y'all have requested that we show off how we cook some stuff out of the garden. So today is kind of one of those lazy lay around days. Tiffany's been asking me to smoke a pork loin. I've never smoked a pork loin before. I always do Boston butts, hams, things like that. So this is gonna be a new one on me. So we're gonna fire the Oklahoma Joe up here, smoke a pork loin. She is going to make a squash and zucchini casserole because uh, I know there was a while back somebody was asking, how do y'all freeze your squash and zucchini and then make something with it? Typically people blanch and freeze or just don't have good luck freezing squash and zucchini at all And I'll agree with some of that and disagree with a lot of it But uh, we'll show you that here in a little bit. It turns out excellent It's one of the few ways of uh, freezing squash and zucchini that we really like to eat it And uh, we'll also pick a little lettuce out of the garden make some salads to go with this But first let's get this smoker going so I can go get this pork loin ready All right, so this is not a how-to video. This is just y'all spending the afternoon with us but uh, how I typically do my smoker is I split these chunks of oak. You know, I do firewood on the channel. I'll split some small ones up every so often, fill a wheelbarrow up. I'm also going to do a little bit of oak and pecan today, too, because I have some of that left over. Cherry is another excellent smoking wood, and I do have some of that on the property as well. So I just put me a couple handfuls of uh, instant light charcoal briquettes down there, and I do that for two reasons, to go ahead and get a coal bed started, and those instant light coals will go ahead and light my uh my oak up here and i kind of want to get some big chunks and a lot of heat going once this burns down i'll slowly add chunks of wood like this to it throughout the day today and uh watch the temperature here in the smoker all right so tiffany's been asking me for weeks to uh cook one of these pork loins and i see why now she went and got this gigantic seven pound pork loin for $12. Uh, she just recently joined Costco. We're finding out there's some killer deals there. So $12 for this huge hunk of meat, that is so hard to beat. Like I said, I've never personally done pork loin in the smoker. We eat it all the time, but just never smoked it because it's a very lean meat, probably the leanest type of pork there is. So I'm curious how this is going to turn out. I thought about bacon wrapping it, but uh, I watched a few people online. Everybody's not bacon wrapping them, so... We're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna smoke it like I normally do, around 225 degrees. Okay. So it's got a little bit of this uh, silver skin on top. You know, I'm used to cutting that off from doing my deer meat. I don't want that on there, it's tough and chewy. So I'm gonna trim that up real quick. One thing that I always do whenever I'm smoking barbecue is I like to rub my meat down with a little bit of yellow mustard. If you don't like mustard, trust me, this step works. I think it adds a little bit of flavor, but you don't get that mustard taste at the end once this is done cooking. More importantly, what this does, like I said, a little bit of flavor, but it helps your rub really stick to it. It makes it nice and tacky. That's the main reason I put it on there. All right, once you get your little thin layer of mustard on there, just layer it up with your favorite barbecue uh, seasoning. I like to let it sit here for a few minutes, get tacky. Seems like the seasoning holds on a little better. We'll go check on the smoker and if it's ready, we'll put this on it. Ah, uh, moment of truth. So I'll put the thick end toward the fire and probably an hour or so into it, I'll come out here and spin it back the other direction. Now we'll just watch the old Therm Pro wireless thermometer from inside.
right, so I got to reading up online and uh, a lot of people recommended to carry a pork loin to 145 degrees. So that's what I've decided I'm gonna do. I'm old school and did so many Boston butts and stuff in my life that 160, 165 is what I like. And like I say, I carry it to even 200 whenever I'm gonna do pulled pork after I uh, wrap it in some full. Well, we've got some of this Everglades mopping sauce. Oh, good stuff. Sometimes we just dip and eat out of this, but it's made just for brushing on. We'll put a little bit of uh, that on here since I've only got just a few degrees left to go. That looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna loosely wrap this in some tin foil, put a little bit more of this mopping sauce on it, and we're gonna let it sit for a little bit while we finish up everything. All right, everybody, so here's the part that some of y'all been waiting for, where we take frozen squash and zucchini that has not been blanched, we vacuum sealed it months ago, and uh, froze it back there in the freezer, and we're gonna pull it out and make a squash and zucchini casserole, so I'm gonna let Tiffany take it away from here. All right, so this is what it looks like after it gets out of the freezer. That's how much water is in the bottom of it. And obviously you can't cook a casserole with that much water. So I'm gonna drain off as much as I can squeeze out of it here. All right, let's so get my bowl here. So I had to measure some of this out because normally I don't really go by measurements. I just kind of throw everything to eye because um, some of our bags are a little bit bigger or smaller. Uh, what would you say how much that is? About three cups, four cups. Yeah, about two and a half, maybe. Okay, so yeah. we don't we agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna chop up my onion here to put in here, and I'm gonna leave it long. I like it long, kind of shredded. I'm doing about 75% of like a large onion. All right, now that I got my onion in there, I'm gonna add my mayonnaise, which is about a little heap and half a cup. And Andrew doesn't like mayonnaise, but he'll never know it's in here. That's right. <laughs> I don't like Worcestershire either, and she cooks with it all the time, and uh, it works out. <laughs> and then I did about a cup of, um, Pankano, Italian Pankano breadcrumbs. And you can do um, regular cracker breadcrumbs if you like, but I prefer the Pankano Italian style because it gives it a little bit more zest with the Italian seasonings in it. And then I'm adding two cups of cheese in here, and I know this is a lot of cheese, so you can just add to your liking. Oh no, put all the cheese <laughs> you want. All right. So it makes it good. And I got two eggs I'm going to put in here to kind of solidify it and kind of firm it up. We are going to add some Everglades original to it. That's what we put on all of our vegetables. Very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Been using it for years and years. Okay. And when you put your seasonings in, just do to your own liking. We tend to kind of add a lot of garlic and a lot yes. of pepper. <laughs> yes. We could kill a vampire around here. We love our garlic. I'm going to do what I forbid Andrew to do is to open the big section here. Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> added too much pepper in a dish the other day. Okay. And then we're just going to mix this all up here. And while she's doing that, I forgot to mention, excuse our kitchen <laughs> if you're new to the channel. This is our shop outside. We're actually living in a camper and kind of build a makeshift room slash kitchen out here. This is eventually where I'm gonna do vegetable processing as we do gardens and uh, process on meat, things like that. So we're kind of using it 
somewhat as it's intended. Okay, I'm gonna non-stick my 13 by nine pan here. Pour my ingredients in. to do the top in here and I did a mixture cheese inside because I did run out of sharp cheddar so normally I do sharp cheddar in the whole casserole but had a little bit left so I'm gonna put on the top here there we go. and I melted a half a stick of butter here that I'm gonna do my breadcrumb topping with gonna get these all smushed up here. And this just gets really golden brown in the oven with all the butter. I'm just gonna pour this in slowly and then just toss it around. to the top here. And then in a normal oven, you would bake this probably for 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes. But I always like to eyeball my stuff and just make sure that nothing's getting too done or undercooked so I'll pull it out about halfway and just kind of judge whether or not the center is solid or not and then that's all there is to this that's a wrap <laughs> all right it's getting late but we have decided that we are going to do a salad with the meal so we are off to the grocery store what you want romaine or butter crunch Let's do a mixture. Okay. <clears throat> it is so nice having your own garden out here with stuff like this to go get. Mm -hmm. We eat lots of salad, so. Yes, I love salad. I could eat them two, three times a week, easy. And as you can see, some of these are starting to kind of mm -hmm. seed out on us, so let's get leaves from around those. And we may have to replant it's been such a hot winter and fall. So this right here is our romaine. This is what we call butter crunch. And it's a really good salad lettuce. Look at Bullet, he's like, drop some for me. Oh yeah, our crazy. <laughs> Vegetarian dog. <laughs> yeah, our crazy little dog loves, yeah. he'll eat anything. Look at him. He eats lettuce straight out of the garden. He thinks he is just stealing something. <laughs> <laughs> he eats everything but spinach. And what else doesn't he? He doesn't like uh, something else. Spinach, maybe much. maybe something like kale. I don't <laughs> oh, know. yeah, kale. Yeah. There's very little that dog will not eat. But look at him down there. He's just tearing the lettuce up. All right, so Tiffany made a good point. How about a few? You want to do some banana peppers for the salad? Yeah, sure. So there's... Uh, one or two in there. Actually, that one is completely ripe right down there. Good one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a real good mm -hmm. one. And that one's turning color, so it'll be sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Make use of something out of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I wish there was a smell button. Oh, that smells so oh. good. Yes. We definitely have to let that cool. As you can see, it is bubbling up. It needs a lot of cool time. All right, so obviously you took the tin full off and mm -hmm. how long did you put it in the, back in the oven? After I took the tin full off, I put it back in the oven for about 12 minutes. Kind of get it golden brown. Look at that. Bubbling. That, guys, I'm telling y'all, and ladies, that is so good. <laughs> that is so good. And it does not matter 
if that is frozen squash and zucchini, yep. it turns out excellent every time. Yep. Can't go wrong with cheese and butter, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, this meal is ready to go. This squash and zucchini casserole smells amazing. It's nice and crispy. The pork looks excellent. And we even made us a little side salad straight out of the garden. We've got peppers on it, lettuce out of the garden, a few little croutons, a few other things. So, uh... What we're gonna do is go outside right now. We got a fire going. There's almost, a, I think, a full moon coming up tonight mm -hmm. or close to it. So we'll watch that coming up. That's how we spend all of our afternoons in the winter. If it's, what, 70 degrees or, or cooler. If it's all day. Yeah, not sitting by a fire at 80, 90 degrees. It's our living room. Yeah, that is our living room. <laughs> you know, just what, just what God's blessed us with outside. The stars, the moon, and a fire. So we're gonna go outside and enjoy that. Thank y'all so much for watching try the recipe please try the uh, squash and zucchini at least it is mm -hmm. so good thank you for it cooking thank you. and oh you're welcome and we'll catch y'all in the next video